Hello everyone, uh, this is Jesus Vasquez from Station and today I will be talking to you about some of the Chrome extensions that I use uh, regularly on my projects that make my life easier and to be quite honest with you, uh, some of them they're lifesaver at least for me um, but without boring you too much, I want to start with the first one the first one is no doubt the best Chrome extension for those of you that are developing and uh, using Bobo uh, that is Atomic Fusion um, and Atomic Fusion is a lightsaber because you're able to get not only block components you keep and landing pages but also code snippets um, and some other goodies that would make your, your life easier and um, their code repository they have over 100 snippets of code uh, that you can get for your project and all you have to do is copy them, paste them and read the instructions if there are any, just to make sure that you are understanding uh, what it does and how to apply it. And that's just a lifesaver. Now on the Chrome extension, uh, you can get UI kits, um, you can get, and all you do is uh, you copy them and paste them into your project. It's not that hard, it's actually uh, pretty nice. Um, I'm going to do one for you, just for you to see what I'm talking about, but I need to convert this into a responsive engine. But it's definitely a lifesaver for me because, you know, I really like going fast uh, when I'm building stuff. And here it is. Um, it just pastes everything how it, it was um, on the image before. So really nice. Um, you get the opportunity to just get the design there and then uh, you make it fit, fit however you want it to look like. Um, in addition to that, uh, you got some landing pages uh, that you can, again, just copy and paste. And you got some block components. Uh, there is a glitch for some reason and the titles are not showing up, but um, yeah, you got some block components that you can just add to your application to your design. Uh, here is the code locker. All it does is you click here and it opens up a new tab uh, with a code repository. But overall, that's definitely the best Bobo Chrome extension that is there is out there. The second best one, in my opinion, is made with frames. Frames. Um, their website is madewithframes.com. But basically, this one allows you to uh, again get different uh, widgets that you can just copy from here and paste here into your design. Again, not that hard, but they have gone through the process of making them um, being responsive, just like Atomic Fusion, and you know, time saver, money maker. So that's really nice about uh, the frame and the Atomic Fusion. Uh, extensions. The third best one is on uh, this Chrome extension from uh, No Code Developers. And basically, what it does is that depending on which uh, No Code website you're in, it will show you relevant um, tutorials from around the internet. So, here are some for um, bubble.io. Uh, now, if I go to the Adalo website, uh, you're going to see that it's going to show me some Adalo uh, tutorials and it automatically fills this out uh, just so, so you you can see that I'm not uh, BSing you going to the Tonkable website I open it and there you go it populated on the website it identified that it's Tonkable and it's showing me Talk about tutorials. Definitely a lifesaver. And the next one that I want to show you is um, Markup Hero. And the reason why I like this one is because I can take screenshot of tabs, of scrolling pages, or any other type of screenshot, and I can draw in it uh, really easily. I know that there are many applications out there that it does that. 
It's just that this one I can do it in the browser. I can add a uh, test. Um, and I can download and move on. It's super easy. Uh, it has many features that you can do. You can insert images, a uh, signature, and you can crop it. Just an easy way to take screenshots and add um, some details to it. Um, the next one is uh, Hoverify. Uh, Hoverify does a lot. Uh, you can inspect uh, the websites on their CSS and HTML just to see like which font they're using, what size, um, which is really nice if you're trying to get on the font that a website is using. Another thing is that I use a lot is the color dropper so I can pick a color. So uh, let's say I want to know what yellow is this one. I click there, copy and paste it into my design. And that's it. Now I have the yellow that they use. Um, other things that you can do is you can download all the assets. So you can download all the pictures. For example, this is the picture that they're using uh, for uh, this block. I can just come here and download it into my computer. Uh, the next thing that I like is that uh, you can see the responsiveness of website. So as you can see, it took the website and the, from the tab that I have open and it showed me different devices, uh, how, how good the responsiveness is. Uh, I use that for my own websites rather than using on the responsive engine that Bubble have built in. And the next thing that I like about this is that I can go and I can see what technology uh, some of these websites are using. So this one, for example, is using Cloudflare, but uh, for their tech and they're using Bubble, some Google Fonts API, um, so on and so forth. Um, so it's really nice whenever I want to know, okay, so what's this building? Webflow, Bubble, WordPress, or are they using custom, custom development? I just go here and check that out. Most of the time it works. So that one is really cool. And the next one that I typically use is the Loom um, extension, which is the one that I'm using right now to record the videos. And sometimes I use the Loom extension just to record um, a work, a tour of uh, the projects that I'm working on to send it to my customers. Um, so that way they can see what I'm working on and how it's going so far. If I don't want, if I don't want, or I cannot give them access um, to the project. Um, or sometimes I just have questions about certain features, make sure that the design, they like it or uh, anything else. And I just use Loom. Lastly, I use Grammarly a lot. And uh, reason why is, well, maybe because English is my second language, but I think Grammarly can be good, not only for ESL people, I mean, English as a second language, right? Um, but for anybody out there that um, does writing online, uh, whether that is your own blog or you write proposals or anything else, definitely Grammarly is a lifesaver. Um, it helps you visualize what your errors are and it helps you correct them. Uh, even if you use the free version, and that's good enough for most people, especially if you are fairly good in English, uh, writing in English. With that, um, those are the Chrome extensions that I use um, most of the time. Um, those are the ones that I use the most, definitely. And what I would like you to do is I want you to leave in the down below in the comments some of those Chrome extensions that you're using that I didn't mention here. I would like to learn what those are and I would like to uh, figure out which ones uh, could help me uh, with my own develop, uh, developments and hopefully i discovered some more uh, make sure you subscribe like this video share it with anybody and that might need it and until next time thank you for watching